Well, this evening we're going to talk about these hydrants, primarily why they fail. Uh, you know, they're, they're a great source of year-round water. If installed correctly and a little bit of maintenance, uh, they'll last a long, long time. There's mainly, it's been, it's been my experience, We've got about three main reasons these hydrants fail. Uh, most that I dig up didn't have adequate drainage material to start with. Uh, now I'm talking about a gravel bed at the bottom somewhere, because every time you open and close one of these hydrants, you're getting out some water, wasting some water, anywhere from a depending on the depth, anywhere from ten, a tenth of a gallon on up to maybe a, a third of a gallon on a deeper hydrant. I can always tell when these hydrants have not had adequate drainage and they've been stuck in the dirt, no drain field, they'll always be rusted. And depending on the type of water you have as far as how corrosive it is, uh, and this is all galvanized on most of these hydrants. Uh, I've seen these hydrants actually get rust holes in them in as little as two years. Uh, but anyway, you can always, I, what, what I'm getting at is there's been nowhere for the water to go, to drain. It's just saturated up around the pipe on a direct berry hydrant. Uh, the second, consequently in cold weather, it won't be long till you'll be freezing up. Uh, because as this gets, just stays muddy in here, your weep hole, or what I call a weep hole or a drain hole, it's this little small hole there real small on some hydrants. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, these stop up with dirt. There again from not having good clean adequate amount of gravel or drain bed. They stop up from dirt. I've had tree roots go into them and plug them up. Real little fine tree roots. Uh, shrubbery roots. And I've had them stopped up with mud. If it stops up with mud there's, or tree roots, there's nowhere for the water to drain. It's just a matter of time until you're going to have freezing and failure. When the, when, when the water won't drain here, the water's standing in this standpipe. In cold weather, that's that you know you're you're getting ready to have a freeze up. Uh, Here's another hydrant I've changed out somewhere. Same, same way. Uh, I don't know, I probably got 30 or 40 of them out there that I've dug out in the last five or six years. I'd say a good 50% of them failed due to lack of adequate drainage. There's no engineering about drainage. It just, uh, it involves what kind of soil you have, how absorbent it is. Uh, like this, this red stuff here where I have high clay, it won't absorb hardly any. Uh, this hydrant here probably has two cubic yards of gravel buried down below it for drain. And I use this hydrant two or three times a week. Uh, but it's I can always look in my in my access system here or my sleeve and see if, if there's water down there. I know my drain field stopped up. I need to be doing something about it. Uh, but anyway, also a reason for failure is depending on the corrosiveness of your water, how hard it is. Uh, the inside of your pipe 
stand pipe may get corroded like this and the stem I call it that's connected to a plunger that's down here this stem a lot of these hydrants just have carbon steel stem and I've seen those rust out in as little as 18 months depending on the, there again depending on the mineral content of the water the uh, third most common reason for failure is just a plain old uh, your plunger assembly gets stuck, comes apart, breaks. Uh, if that's the case and you're direct buried, what I call direct buried, that's when you just put a hydrant in the ground. Just put one in the ground, no, no sleeve assembly with it. Uh, if the plunger comes apart down here, normally that's pretty hard to get out. You might flush it out. In other words, turn the water on and try to flush it out. But usually I end up having to dig those up. Uh, and a lot of times the inside of the tube is corroded to the point that I can't get that plunger up out of there. Nor get the new one down in there because it's all got rust underneath it now. It's fell from pulling the rod up and down knock the rust loose and it's all laying down underneath your plunger you can flush it out pretty good make it work but I've had some problems with it uh, but anyway that's the that's the three main reasons for these hydrants to fail is uh, lack of drainage proper drainage and that has to be done on the initial installation, it has to be done right. Uh, and depending on, you know, it depends on how your soil absorbs and how much the hydrant's going to be used. Uh, if you have any questions about that or want to discuss it with me, give me a call anytime 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, five days a week, and I'll give you my recommendations on what what you're into uh, or we can talk about doing a little percolation test to see how your soil drains but anyway all of these hydrants at some time in their life sooner or later are going to require some service some maintenance repair or replacement most hydrant manufacturers only give you a one-year warranty on your hydrant. And I've, I've changed hydrants out in as little as a year and a half after being installed that were due to corrosion and uh, uh, stem, their stem just eating up with rust. Uh, at the cost of these, if you get one of these professionally installed, and depending on the depth and the type of soil you have to dig in, hiring a plumber or a, or a water well man, normally he'll charge, oh, starting at around $250 to $300. And that's for a shallow one. It's easy to dig out. He can get in a couple of hours, two to four hours, get, the, get it dug out. The deeper you get, You'll be talking excavator costs, and you know, you can get into twelve, fifteen hundred dollars just for the change out. I've got another vid on the site showing that I can change this hydrant, and I can change any of them once these sleeves are installed. I can change any of them in less than ten minutes. Uh, I've sold these. I built these, this this style, and a couple other similar ideas I've had the last five or six years, and I've sold them to a lot of local people here. I've sold some online, uh, but this is a little newer design I've got, and you, like I say, you can look at the you can look at the vid uh, of how fast I could change this out. The whole purpose of it. 
I can always look down there and make sure my drain's working correctly. Now, if this hydrant gets to the point that it needs serviced, uh, you know, a lot of times, I'd say probably 25 to 50 percent of the time, you can pull the stem out of any of these hydrants and do your repairs, probably 25 to 50 percent of the time. The other 25 to 50 percent of the time, that doesn't work, and then you're stuck with dig out. Like I said there a minute ago, dig out, dig out, and change one out. If you get it professionally done, 250 to 12, 1500 dollars. If you do it yourself, you know you're looking at a minimum, a couple of hours digging it out, tying it back into the old plumbing, building you a drain bed. Uh, but anyway, the product I, I, I put together to, to uh, get away from these type problems or give me access is uh, I build I build this this assembly here. It's got a threaded hose adapter brazed into a piece of brass plate there, and it's stabilized to where it will never turn. Uh, and then of course I've got it out here. I adapted to PVC, and then out here I've got three quarter metal iron pipe. PVC threads, or you can saw this off and glue directly to it with PVC. And then up above, if you watch the vid where I changed this out, I've got the bushing assembly here. Uh, there's two different sizes of these. They're, they're made for either a three-quarter hydrant, which most of your hydrants in your big box stores or lumber yards or hardware stores are three-quarter. Uh, I use these Baker Monitor, they're a one inch hydrant, they're a little hard to get, I have special order them, uh, but anyway, they, uh, and what I sell with this kit, I sell these two items here, you provide a solid section of PVC, four inch PVC schedule 40, it needs to be one foot longer than whatever your freeze level is. In other words, if your freeze level's three and a half foot or four foot, say four foot, this piece of pipe here needs to be five foot long. You provide it, the hydrant itself, and your final connection coming from your existing or new plumbing tying on to your to your uh, to my outlet on the uh, adapter kit uh, I sell these uh, they also work out real well if you've got a hydrant somewhere and you're wanting to pour a concrete slab on top of it or concrete floor, uh, you can always get to it, do your change out, do your service work without breaking up concrete. Uh, but anyway, that's what I've got. You can go to my sales page and there I've got it uh, listed a three quarter inch or a one inch. And that has to do with what size pipe size is here. This is three-quarter. I put these on three-day priority mail or three-day select on UPS. Uh, and the freight is prepaid on them. And I think that's about it. I hope I've helped you understand how these hydrants work or a little bit about them and what can be some of the problems most of your manufacturers tell you to put some gravel there but they don't tell you how much they don't tell you what kind of problems you're getting into uh, and then of course none of them talk with you too much about the other problems you have whether they show you how to change a plunger if if you can but 
But anyway, that's that's the that's the problem with these hydrants, or a couple of the three main problems with them. And here's the solution. Uh, and it'll save you some money and time in the future. I can't say whether it'll be a, a year after you put it in or 25 or 30 years. I've seen these hydrants last 25 or 30 years with no problems. But they were installed correctly, they were maintained, and they weren't in very corrosive water. But anyway, that's, that's the problems, and this is the solution. You supply this section of pipe, solid, no couplings, keep it as straight and solid as possible. I supply this and this section down here, these two pieces here. You supply the hydrant and the final connection coming from your existing service line. I hope I've, I hope I've helped you some understand these hydrants. Uh, my phone number's on my website. Give me a call if you have any questions or any problems. And uh, we'll do our best to get it put in where you'll have a trouble-free installation as long as, as long as we can. Thank you very much.